we are mostly be talking about the Insta 361X. I got a quick break in the rain here. And I'm going to try and see how possible is it to actually vlog with only the Insta 361X. I'll show you that and also I'll show you my exact workflow to get this thing into Final Cut Pro and out to YouTube. <laughs> Just about to go over to Garnish Island on the ferry. try this and see if it works. So my workflow with the Insta360, I remove the SD card with a Sunny Greenwich pick, of course. And just pop that out. It's a little bit difficult to get out. And, oh, and then I place it into the card reader on the MacBook Pro. Now let me change over to the other scene here. Here is the, uh, here's the card right here. Here's the folder I have on my desktop to keep the files that I pull off the 360. So I open the 360 up. There's my folder there. Here's my desktop folder. I move the files from the card reader onto my hard drive. Just copy them over. Okay, that's the first piece of business. Now I can go ahead and eject my card. I've taken the files off the SD card and I put them onto a folder on my desktop. Now I'm going to go ahead and open up Insta360 Studio. I open that. I grab the files from the folder on my desktop and drag them into the 360 program. Whoa. So yeah, apparently it does work. have the files brought into the 360 I make sure that my flow state stabilization is on and I use the stitching as normal because I have no, no camera case on the camera now over to this side this is where the files actually live right here this little button this gives you the view that you want to keep once you stitch and render it. I usually just put it at flat. With the right click, if you have more than one file over here, it's batch import with a right click. I'll show you what this does. So I'll just start the export and this will give me my destination points and my size. And then I just click okay. It'll start the render here. Now this is a very small file, so it's rendering quickly, but yesterday's files were pretty big for an hour to render them. There's the 100% done, so that's that file finished. Close this down, and I can close the Insta360 Studio. And the next thing I will do is grab Final Cut and bring that in. 
and I will go to the import button, click the import button, T5, which is where the footage is. I go into the T5, find the footage, and find the place that I've saved it to, which is July 2019. Then I go to the 360 camera, and then I import. Now, as you'll see, it comes into my final cut and it has to be transferred because I use proxies. You'll see that that file now has gone from an orange thing to the actual file, which means that it's been rendered and I can now use it. Let's say we have this selected. We'll bring this file in and put it on the timeline. If you go to the view, look for the 360 viewer, grab that. And then right here, you'll see that your transform button now has an orientation button. And then just by touching the file, you can look anywhere you want. Just as simple as that. I can either now keyframe it or edit just as a regular clip. good enough camera to use for vlogging. Now we're here on Garnish Island, about an hour and a half away from Cork City, um, towards the west. Now I wonder, I think, I think this should be okay. You should be able to see and hear me all right from here. and beautiful here actually. A lovely day out there, not too far from Cork. It's definitely worth the drive out. About an hour and a half from Cork City. Just outside of Glengarriff and across the way from the Eccles Hotel. Oh, how huh. lovely. Is that nice? Yeah, it's so romantic. It is. <laughs> I love it. So at the end of your walk around Garnish Island, there's a nice little cafe, a beautiful character. Coffee cake over here. Lovely. So that is my workflow to bring the footage in from the 360 cam into Final Cut Pro so that I can edit from there. I'm here in the town of Glen Garrett in West Cork. Just had a nice little picnic. We nestled in the mountains on the way to Castleton Bear and off west to carry just beyond those hills at the end there. So the answer is yes. You can vlog with this camera all day. I was using a 128 gig car and I was able to film all day long with it. So not a problem in that respect. My only concerns with it, getting it off the camera, it's kind of a pain. The files are huge, so it takes up a lot of storage space and it also takes forever to render. Those are my only problems with it. Other than that, you can easily vlog with this camera all day long. It's quite handy, really. You just have it in a little pouch, around the corner, and boom, out with the stick, and you're great. So that's what I think about that. For the vlog of the week, I'm going to send you to my friend Emilio Takis. Tech stuff, reviews, and Final Cut Pro. A great guy, really, really nice. So send him some love from us. Thanks a lot, guys. <laughs>